Hello everyone and welcome to a Minecraft how-to video. So in today's video I want to show you the way I found through some testing and through some help on how to break bedrock in Minecraft bedrock 1.14.3. Now I did a lot of research and testing looking up through YouTube and things like that and I couldn't find a good um, bedrock edition video so I turned to our resident bedrock breaker, Mr. Silent Whisperer, and he pointed me in the direction of a short clip. Um, but the video or the clip that I was given what it was done in it didn't work, so we had to do some tweaking. We did come up with this right here, and um, the original, the original design had a fence gate right here so it had an open fence gate uh, not that way it was like that and you would just take snow layers and drop them onto this and after nine snow layers you push this and the snow layers will drop down like that this will plop over here and nothing will happen so what I found out you needed to do was change this setup into a button. Now, to build this, it's fairly simple. You just need six blocks of your choosing. You need two regular pistons, two buttons, one glass pane, two pieces of snow, and a carved pumpkin or a regular pumpkin. So wherever your piece of bedrock is that you want to break, you want to have a block adjacent to it. You want to have your piston adjacent to it and then another piston. You'll place a button on top of the face of the piston and then this button up here is just to control the piston. Now directly above this you will want to build a small platform, or place a block. Inside here is where you will place your snow layers. Then what I like to do, because most of you will be doing this on survival, is obviously you'll have uh, uh, that was snow. You'll have a little bit of a, a platform like this that you'll be up on. I always place this block in here, and let's get out of the flying mode. And I place a pumpkin on this guy like this. And then we push. You want to push it into a corner, and then use a glass plane uh, pane <laughs> to block it in. And then just for grins, I always put this block back. I have had this guy kind of push out of this uh, once in survival. Then we can delete all these blocks. And now we have um, Mr. Pumpkin up there. So you have to push him into the corner so that when you place a block here, you will get the snow layer. And this will always be there just like if you were making a snow farm. So now what you want to do is drop... Um, nine layers at least of snow onto this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it's critical that this button is here so that the snow stacks up this way. Once you have nine layers, it's pretty simple. This block right here is very, very important. You press the button and the bedrock is gone. And that is how you delete bedrock in survival mode. <clears throat> so I've done this in survival. I was breaking some end gate stuff, just testing it out. And there's a little bit of a trickery with end gates. So we will go through that real quick. And this is essentially what an end gate looks like bedrock wise. Um, oops. <laughs> These four bedrocks are very easy to break. You could set up your piston um, right here. You do not need the, the added block because you have this here. So you'd have your, your piston like that. You'd build your snowman up here and you would drop it down, essentially deleting these four um, <clears throat> pieces of bedrock. You'd have to do this all the way around. 
<laughs> moving your snowman. Now, once you have your snowman up there, what I've found is you can just build kind of like a ring around this thing, and it's pretty easy to move it. Now, the problem is when you get to this bedrock right here. So if we delete this, essentially what you would want is a piston right here, and your other piston will be here like that okay now you want falling snow layers right here but you will have the end gate block right here that portals you to the end islands and the problem is you will essentially have a block right here that's collecting snow and when you break this the snow just breaks so the trick the trick to getting these two uh, blocks broken is you want to break one of these upper pieces right here okay so you would set up your setup right here that would be your piston and then your piston right here so you'd have your block here come up a few blocks you want to come up at least two blocks above this piston when setting up your um, your snowman And we'll just we'll just build this for grins because why not? Because we can. Now this guy, you're gonna want to push into this corner or this corner. It does not matter. Um, and of course. Hi. <laughs> and so now we have him here, right? So if you're trying to break these end gates to, to where you can just like walk into them, you'll have your snow layers here. Then when you shove it over, uh, nothing's going to happen with the end portal here, but you will essentially delete this block. And now you can move um, this snowman to this location right here where this concrete block is. And like I said, if you build, if you keep your one snowman up here and you just, you build little channels, it's kind of a pain, but I've done it. You can break this block as long as you have one there. Break the glass pane, eventually he'll walk over here, or you can jump down in there and push him over. Once you have him in this location, then you can simply set up your pistons here again, and you can delete these two blocks. And it's kind of weird because you'll have um, these three blocks, but you'll have your end gate block here, and then you can have a, a staircase or whatever and jump up into it, and away you go. And that's essentially what I was doing on Bedrock, trying to break Bedrock. And typing that kind of stuff into the uh, into YouTube and stuff like that, it did not uh, put me into videos that could help me. It, it took me to videos for Java. I did try a bunch of those out, but they didn't work. So anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, as always, leave a like, comment, <laughs> consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And we will see you on the next how-to video, or Truly Bedrock, or Sky Factory. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, guys.